I'm so thirsty. I think I look too cute that I just cut on the camera. Cause I'm like, your girl look at too cute. Let me turn on the camera. But I promise, real quick, this video is about to be everywhere. I haven't started recording, but I have a lot of thoughts on my mind and I really don't know how I wanted to come back on YouTube or like make a video. But I feel like thinking about it is discouraging me. So I'm gonna just pick up the camera, start recording and whatever happens, happens. Okay, so why would I start recording? Y'all gotta do that. So, like I said before, I really don't know what I want this video to be about, but I just have to pick up the camera to start talking. And yes, I do need to change um, the little thing for the fire alarm, so ignore that. Sorry, but. I do want to just start talking because my thoughts are all over the place and I don't know how to like I feel like the more I think about what to say the more I get discouraged to film and post a video so I know it's gonna be all over the place but I'm gonna try to make it as organized as possible but to get started hey my name is Nay, and i'm back with another youtube channel if you're new to this channel thank you for clicking the video and if you are already subscribed thank you for being a subscriber and continue to watch and support your girl thank you to all the 442 people who have subscribed to my channel thus far um i'm not the consist i'm not very consistent with posting um and yeah so the new people who continue to find me and follow me thank you i appreciate it so much if you don't know me i am an army nurse i'm so bad with keeping y'all updated with things that y'all probably didn't even know that but yes i am an army nurse i graduated nursing school in 2022 and i went active duty army last year not this year no more but last year january 2023 i've been a nurse for like a year now in a military and like on my own so i noticed that most of my subscribers are coming from my videos when i talk about nursing and clicks and um army stuff i've seen that those videos were the ones with the most views so i just imagine that's where my subscribers are coming from so i'm definitely i'm definitely <laughs> going to make a whole video dedicated to how to become an army nurse my experience as an army nurse so please continue to follow me and support me because those videos are going to be helpful in the future when I start posting more. Today I just wanted to talk about like how I've been. How have Nay been um, since my last upload and you know, all of 2023 honestly. Mentally 2023 have really how can I say this 2023 has really tried me mentally okay uh yeah like my mental i've been very depressed sad lonely like those are the three emotions that i felt all 2023 and of course i had some happy moments but majority of it was like very sad depressed lonely um but i continue to get through it as i always do uh right now i'm in a much better headspace mentally but yeah, it's definitely been challenging, especially moving to Texas, being on my own, living on my own. It, it all has been challenging. Most of my mental issues come from relationships. So at the beginning of last year in March, me and my ex broke up. Um, Yeah, so it's been almost about a year now since we broke up. So dealing with that, trying to date other people and everything surrounding dating and relationships has been like bad like wrong like i lost and not even just like boyfriend girlfriend or like an intimate relationship but even like friendships i lost two good well not too good but i lost two friends that i thought were good friendships last year um yeah so i mean i lost relationships a lot of relationships um yeah <laughs> like i really don't know what much to say about it but it's definitely something that i'm healing still healing through and trying to get over 
as far as my last intimate relationship, it's almost been a year since we broke up. So all of 2023, I've been working on healing from that. Um, to get over that, I was dating other people, which of course that didn't work out. So really just found myself back in like a space of still being alone when it comes to like an intimate relationship, which is good for me actually. Like I'm at a point now where I want to be alone and I really don't want any relationship that doesn't serve or suits me. Um, my last situationship that I currently just got out of, I it, I was already over that situation before it even started, honestly. But I was like, I've been over that situation and I just let that person and that situation waste my time. It was a really big waste of time. Um, who knows where I could have been if I didn't waste my time with that situation, but I did. Uh, so I just got to heal through that, get over that. But yeah, I'm just figure, figuring out. I'm just figuring it out. To go back to my first point, most of my sadness and mental health issues have been coming from like losing relationships and trying to handle and deal with that. Plus starting a new job and um, got a new career, new meeting new people, getting oriented to my new job. So yeah, I, I've, it's, it's been a fast pace and I've been like just living day by day. I almost felt like that. I was just living like because I have to and it wasn't like living wasn't enjoyable. I just woke up and did what I had to do because I had to do it. I didn't like doing what I was doing. Um, I mean, I like being a nurse and I like I like my career and I like my job that I do now. But mentally in the inside, I still wasn't happy with them myself. So, although I found joy at work, it wasn't enough to like make define who I am and make me happy. So this year, uh, we starting off the year strong, you know, single, not dealing with nobody. So that that will help me mentally to not talk to nobody, not deal with nobody in a relationship manner. Uh, I mean, friends come and go. So whoever don't want to be in my life, I'm kind of at a point where it's like. Fuck them. Like, you you don't want to be here and I don't want you here. Like, like the people who love me and want to be in my life is the only ones that I care about. So, as long as I got those people, like, I, all the extra friends and things, like, I just really don't care about. Um, I'm serving whoever wants to serve me. And that's just what it is with, like, relationships. Um, I'm no longer dealing with situations that I know is not good for me. Because it's like, I know from the beginning... That situation is bad, but yeah, I still indulge and get myself involved in situations that I knew wasn't going to work out from the beginning. Um, that got to stop this year because we not doing it. It's just a waste of time. I feel like I would have been found my person, my husband, if I, you know, stand on business. And like, like once I see a red flag, just cut it off completely. Instead, I... Like, I enjoy wasting my time. Like, I always make excuses for the situation or the red flag. I'll make excuse like, well, maybe. But no. This, this year, you notice a red flag, you stop it, you cut it off. Um, and yeah, just not allowing people to treat me bad and treat, treat me in a way that I know damn well that's not how I should be treated. So, that's where we are with that. I mean, I'm excited. Um... My current relationship that, well, not relationship because we wasn't in a relationship, but my current situation that I got, just got out of is, it is something that I'm going to have to get through and heal through. Like I'm still like, when I say it's so fresh, I'm not going to even tell y'all how fresh it is because it's kind of embarrassing how fresh it is, but it's definitely something that I have to get through. Um, I'm going to allow myself time to heal and get through that situation but your girl gotta stand on business like it's so much stuff that i want to do this year um it's so much stuff that i have planned for this youtube channel i guess i can come out and say it i'm starting a business this year and i really i just want everything to be surrounded around god and here i go talking in circles again like like i said this is just a video to get my thoughts out what's inside i'm just gonna pour it up 
I'm just gonna pour it out to you all. Like I'm starting a business this year. I'm going to post more because one of my goals is to be an influencer and influence people in a positive way. I just don't wanna be the pretty girl who pick up a camera and think they know stuff. Like I'm actually very intelligent. Um, I'm very smart and I got a lot to offer people. I'm very helpful. I have a lot to offer the world and I want to be, I want to influence people through my social media in a positive way. So I'm excited to actually start my journey because I do know that's one of my callings. And if you want to see my testimony video, it is linked down below. So you can see how me, I think I talked about this more in that video. It was back in 2020. So I'll definitely pan that so you guys can go watch that if you want to. But yes, really, like I was saying before, I just want God to be the center of everything that I do this year because I, I just feel it. And I know like we all have that feeling, like especially at the beginning of a new year, we all feel like, yes, like this is my year. I'm going to accomplish so much this year. But I can feel it in my soul and with manifestation in God, I know that I'm going to get a lot out of this year. I have a lot of potential and I just really, it's not that like, oh, this is my year and I know God going to bless me. This is my year to be stand up for myself and like be there for myself. Um, put in a work and show my full potential and just do like it's time for me to put in a work. That's the best way that I can put it right now. It's time for me to put in a work, put in the hours, stop being lazy, be more consistent and that's how I know God is going to bless me. And with everything that I want to do, I just want God to be the center of everything. Uh, that's another reason why it was so hard for me last year. Because I kind of lost sight of who I was. And I lost uh, my relationship with God. Literally went to hell. Sorry, Jesus. But seriously, like, it was, I was, last year I was at a point where, which, I'll just say I've been influenced to believe things that I knew wasn't true. But okay, I'm gonna just tell y'all. So in the military, it's a lot of men who don't believe in God. Like any per any man that I've like tried to date or talk to, they don't believe in God. And it's just, it like literally blows my mind. Like I never met so many people who did not believe in like my heavenly father, the God that I believe in. And so with that being said, if I'm talking to someone who doesn't have the same spiritual beliefs as I do, um, it was easy in a way. Not too easy, but it was easy to confuse me. Not to make me not a believer, but to confuse me enough to like question like, hmm, like is there a God? Or just question my own beliefs. That's what I've been like going through. And all the things that I want to do as far as I started my business, being an influencer, being a best nurse that I can be. Like, I can't 100% do it without God. No matter if I doubted my spirituality, I still knew deep down inside that I can't do it without God. So with that being said, starting a YouTube channel or um, being an influencer, starting a business or being the best nurse that I can be, like I can't do that without God being the center of whatever I'm trying to do. So with my confusion, it kind of set me back of the things that I wanted to do because I don't personally, I don't want to do anything if God is not the center of what I'm doing. And, and in order for me to do said things that I want to do, I just want God to be the center. And so the fact that I'm finding my way back to God, which I can't say that I was lost. You know, I stopped. It's like I mentally like pray and I mentally think about God every day. But I like I still like in my hell was doubting. But I I would never like I like I don't know. It's just weird. Like I've always it was it's not a day go by that I don't think about God and all the blessings that I've received. But like I said, I've just been influenced to believe other things. And I'm happy that God favor, favor me enough to not let my mind, you know, go off too far. Basically, I'm thankful that God did not give me away to the devil or like me and his connection is so strong that even when a devil try to come in and ruin that connection, 
it's just still me and God. Like I always find my way back to him. So with that being said, I'm excited to start all the things that I want to start this year with God being a center of each and everything that I do. Uh, yeah, I've been noticed that most of my problems come from relationships. Even in my last relationship, I wasn't happy. Like my last relationship where I was telling y'all like, yeah, we've been broken up for like almost a year now. In that relationship, I wasn't happy. He's a very nice guy. Like I'm always gonna have love for this person, but I was not happy in that relationship. And when people say, don't be with a man because you think you're gonna be happy because you with that man. Like hopefully that makes sense. But whatever I'm trying to say, hopefully y'all can catch on. It's true, like a man does not bring happy. Like you can't be with somebody and expect them to make you happy. And I knew that because like people say, like don't think they don't count on one person to provide you happiness. Like I knew it because I heard it. But when you actually experiencing that situation, you like, dang, like a nigga really can't bring me happiness. Like I was in like my last relationship. I just like, we was with each other every day. Like he did everything right. I didn't have to worry about him cheating or dealing with, like, you know, I didn't have to worry about infidelity. He was a good person. The relationship was a good relationship, but still deep down inside, I was not happy within myself. I was not happy in that relationship. I was not happy with who I was at the time. Like I just wasn't a happy person. So yeah. Your girl went off on a tangent because I forgot what point I was making. But really, yes, you can't depend on people to like make you happy. That's why after after that relationship, what I should have done was just focus on myself, focus on healing and bettering myself and getting like doing the things that truly makes me happy. But instead, I got caught up in another situation in turn led to me still not being happy, even though during a moment where uh, yeah, during that exact moment when I was with that person, I felt happy. But it's like when I go back home, I'm no longer feeling happy anymore. So, yeah, it's just time to put myself first. It's time to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish this year. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy that I have a space to release my thoughts because it actually did just make me feel better. So thank y'all for being my diary. If you made it this far, thanks for listening. Um, subscribe to my channel because yeah, y'all gotta hold me to my word. Um, I could talk about this ring later in another video, but because this video is already too long, but this is my promise ring that I got myself. I can talk about all the promises that I made myself in a different video. I need y'all to help me to stand on business and be more consistent this year like y'all it's so much that i can offer to the world and i got braces <laughs> like y'all it's so much but i promise it's gonna be better quality videos it's gonna be better organized videos i just had to get this off my chest first as a hey i'm back so yo we can we gonna get into my braces we're gonna get into the promise ring we're gonna get into nursing active duty military like we gonna get into all the things okay uh, I'm just happy to be back and I just need y'all to help me stay consistent because sometimes, sometimes I know myself, I need a little push. Uh, and yeah, and when I, I, people randomly subscribe to my channel and it just like makes me so happy. Like I really don't post in the fact that people still subscribe to my channel. I'd be like, how? But it is motivating because I'm like, okay, I need to make a video just for this one person who just subscribed. Just because I'm so thankful that you subscribe. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to drag this video out any longer. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on TikTok. And follow me on Snapchat. Because I'm going to be posting more on Snapchat. I don't know why. Snapchat is just easy. Like, I love Snapchat because it's easy. But yeah, go follow me on all my social media. They will be linked in the description box down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, guys, that's all. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.